Hey citizens, this is Jim with JP Reacts, where you come to think like, like a politician and learn how to understand what they're saying and what they're not saying by their speeches and comments in public. Today we're going to be covering uh, a moment of comments from President Biden on his, uh, his executive orders on modernizing the immigration uh, system in this country. Hopefully he's got good information on that. Uh, if you're interested, stay tuned after this. Okay, so President Biden is having a little speech after signing his executive orders on his modernization of the immigration system in the United States. Uh, so let's jump in and hear what he has to say. But the purpose of my asking you here today is I want to congratulate the new uh, secretary, Secretary Mayorkas, who's going to take on an easy job, uh, nothing to it, Homeland Security, and. Uh, and uh, going to deal, looking forward to his leadership and working with Congress uh, on a lot of issues, including the immigration bill that has, uh, I think, great support in both chambers. Today, I'm going to sign a few executive orders um, uh, to strengthen the immigration system, building on uh, the executive actions I took on day one to protect dreamers and uh, to end the Muslim ban and to better manage our borders. So uh, first off, I just want to make sure that we recognize President Biden modeling good behavior here by wearing a mask. There's a lot of people in that room, and the fact that he's wearing a mask, even in the Oval Office, shows uh, leadership and the ability to uh, lead a country through this crisis, uh, which is a pandemic which covers everything that's going on right now. So I appreciate that. Uh, he, he recognized the newly confirmed Secretary of Homeland Security. And then if you remember, day one, he had signed some executive orders reversing Trump's travel ban for Muslims, um, also protecting Dreamers. Trump was trying to get deport Dreamers. Dreamers, again, are the kids that came with their parents and uh, and no fault of their own. It had been model citizens going to school, serving in the military, all that good stuff. And then obviously the crisis at our border, which has been exasperated by the pandemic, where kids have been separated from their parents. Uh, most, a lot of these people have been, been refugees and the fact that we, we've acted in such a heartless manner on the Southern border is a real stain on our country and I'm glad he's working to resolve it. But ultimately, uh, immigration needs to be fixed in Congress. There's only so much the president can do. Our immigration laws are our immigration laws, and they are out of date and need to be upgraded. So hopefully uh, soon we can get that bill passed through Congress. I know he's working hard to try to get, get it through. Uh, but we'll see what he's talking about in these executive orders. That's what these uh, three different uh, executive orders are about. And I want to make it clear, there's a lot of talk with good reason about the number of executive orders that I have signed. I'm not making new law. I'm eliminating bad policy. Um, what I'm doing is taking on the issues that 99% of them, that the president, the last president of the United States, issued executive orders I thought were very counterproductive to our security, counterproductive to who we are as a country, particularly in, uh, in, uh, in the area of immigration. This is about uh, how America is safer, stronger, more prosperous when we have a fair, orderly, and uh, humane legal immigration system. And uh, with the first action today, uh, we're going to work to undo the moral and national shame of the previous administration that literally, not figuratively, ripped children from the arms of their families, their mothers and fathers at the border, and with no plan none whatsoever to reunify the children who are still in custody and, uh, and their parents. The second action addresses the root causes of our migration. All right, so the first one, it sounds like he's addressing what I was talking about, which is the family separation at the southern border. The biggest issue with the Trump administration, not only doing it, but also there was no real plan on how to fix it after it became a, it became a known problem and he and the, the administration knew they had to fix it. Uh, they worked not only to limit the immigration, but also make it as painful as possible, even for refugees who are, are running for their lives, literally, to, and trying to come here. 
often from policies that we created in South America and Central America. A lot of these refugees are running from governments that we supported, and we created the situations years ago that made it possible for this to be so dangerous for them in their country. All right, so let's look at, listen to the second one. Second action addresses the root causes of our migration to our southern border. And the third. So the second one uh, that he mentioned there. I'm pretty sure he's talking about what I was talking about. Uh, a lot of the trouble that we're having at the southern border is caused by our policies overseas, um, but also just the issue of processing at the southern border has been a real issue. There's not enough immigration judges. There's not enough uh, due process. So I'm not sure if he's going to talk about that anymore outside of this, but uh, that's what he's really trying to fix is the, the root causes of the problem both the lack of resources, lack of judges, lack of process, and also the process of, that caused it from our actions overseas. Third action, the third order I'm going to be signed, orders a full review of the previous administration's harmful and counterproductive immigration policies, uh, basically across the board. And so with that, I'm going to... So the third one is just an overhaul of ordering the Secretary of Homeland Security, basically, to review all the implemented policies. Not all of them, especially with the pandemic, not all of them were made public. So he really wants to make sure that they know what's going on and that he can make recommendations and fix a lot of the issues that are under his control, which are a lot of process and policy related, not law related. He can't change the law. He can he could fix, though, how we how his his administration enforces the law to make it more fair and just. My grandfather say the grace of God and the goodwill of the neighbors will re reunite these children and reestablish our reputation as being a haven for people in need. Thank you very, very much. Okay, so basically, in between uh, what I what I was talking about and what I showed, uh, he signed the executive orders and re uh, re re talked about what they were covering. Uh, but basically, the goal here is to make our our immigration system work the way it's supposed to work. Again, he's not rewriting laws; he can't do that. That requires Congress to pass some additional laws. Um, but what he can do is make the process work better work be fairer and to really follow the law to the best of its ability that makes the most sense. He, can, he also obviously has jurisdiction over foreign affairs. So looking at what's causing it, uh, what's, what's causing immigration and mass uh, asylum seekers from Central and South America, and if there's anything the United States can do to quell that or to mitigate that, uh, not just keeping those people outside of the country, but actually stopping the, the causes at the border. Um, so that's what that, that's about. And obviously, we just need to reunite these kids with these families, because that is a major stain on our country, and it's, it's fairly devastating that a lot of those kids are, were going to have a hard time finding their parents because of the actions of President Trump's administration. So, um, But that's it for this video. Hopefully, you got some, some new information and some good context from it. Uh, but basically, if you did, please like the video below. And in the comments, tell me what you think of these three executive orders, which is going to make the biggest impact on the immigration system. And secondly, what you think President Biden should do next about immigration. But uh, until next time, I'll see you around the internet. You have a great day. Bye.